quaint little village in the middle of Vermont is hardly the place you'd expect a PGA Tour star to be from. For Vermont is known more for its covered bridges, maple syrup, and its grueling winters than it is for golf. But look into the eyes of President's Cup rookie Keegan Bradley and see the fire that burns deep within him. And his journey makes all the sense in the world. Woodstock is always going to be my hometown. It's where my best friends are, where I ski raced and played golf and molded my game into, into what it is today. He's a Vermont Yankee, and they're a tough lot. They are a wonderful people, but they are tough-minded, and he never heard a discouraging word when it came to whether or not he was going to go on the PGA Tour. A lot of people, it's been given to them a little bit. They don't have that check that he has. Growing up here in Vermont, not being able to play golf 12 months of the year puts that fire back into you that's made him the player that it is. The son of a PGA professional and nephew of World Golf Hall of Famer Pat Bradley, Keegan was both a golfer and a ski racer growing up in Woodstock. But it was golf where his true passion lied. The whole impact of golf was big for him right from the beginning. He would draw pictures of the green and then the flag and would say and wrote, I really want to be a pro golfer. He was dedicated. I mean, he wanted to be a golfer and he worked at it. He didn't go out there just to hack around and, and play games. He was on the range every day of the summer. And, uh, and you could see the dedication that he put into it at a young age. People ask me all the time, am I surprised that he got to where he is now? And I'm not at all because I knew what he was like as a child. The little kid with the big dreams is now a three-time PGA Tour winner, including a major championship. So often I'm kind of numb to what's going on because it's all happened so fast. It reminds me of the work that I've had to put in and the obstacles that I've had to overcome. Sometimes I kind of have to pinch myself and say, is this really the little boy from Woodstock, Vermont? It's just truly amazing.